This deserve the award. This deserve the award. This deserve the award. That is a bit overstated. This cream deserve the award. Hello, Anyang. This is Yuhi from One Eye Beauty, the place where all the Korean beauty info in one eye. Have you checked out all of last year's beauty award-winning products yet? When it comes to Korean skincare products, we've got to find out the award-winning products from here, right? Olive Young, South Korea's largest health and beauty store. Last year, I saw this video from Yuniani. Products that have won Olive Young Awards for five consecutive years. I mean, five consecutive years to beat such a competitive market for five years in a row. These products must be damn good, right? I had to find out if these products are really good or not to share with my subscribers. So, I've purchased these five award winning products with my own money, have been testing them enough, and now I'm ready to share with you all my honest reviews on these. Are you ready to find out? Before we kick start, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to show some love and support. Come sign with that. Thank you so much. So five winning products at Olive Young for five consecutive years. I'll go through all of these products, their key ingredients and my honest thoughts on them. But I'm sure that you will not only want to hear from me with dry, mature and sensitive skin, but from others with different skin types as well. So I'll let you know what these products scores were and their overall reviews from Hua Hair app, Korea's most trusted beauty app. Let's start with the cleansing products. Manio Pure Cleansing Oil. This consecutively old winning cleansing oil is a very popular cleansing oil sold over 222 million bottles worldwide. A powerful cleanser that removes everything really well, dirt, sebum, impurities, stubborn makeup, and even blackheads. This does contain great ingredients for blackhead removal, such as jojoba seed oil and squalane. This cleansing oil is most well-renowned for that reason. This is a lightweight cleansing oil with a viscous texture. It has a low pH level of around 5 showing up on my pH test paper, so it feels gentle on the skin. Clinically proven to remove blackheads and whiteheads with effective ingredients for pore care like jojoba seed oil, argan oil, and squalane. To remove the blackheads more effectively, leave the oil on your T-zone area for about 3-5 to five minutes before cleansing. This is a hypoallergenic cleansing oil with 99% plant-derived natural oil extracts and rice bran fermented extract that will help to balance the skin's oil and moisture level. It effectively removes all the sebum, residues, impurities and heavy makeup, leaving your skin feeling fresh after washing. So, did this deserve the award? Yes and no and no and yes. I mean, it is a good cleansing oil, but to be honest with you, I don't understand the hype. It's good, but not amazing. And it has a quite strong citrusy smell, probably coming from the citrus oil, which isn't unpleasant. It is nice, but it is quite strong. In the Hua Hair app, it has received over 9,005 out of 5 reviews and currently has an average score of 4.37. People seem to like this for its lightweight, effectively removing blackheads and dead skin cells, no skin irritation, removes makeup well, and it's hydrating. Me, with a dry skin type and who has tried out so many different cleansing oils as it is my most favorite product in my routine. This was about average cleansing oil, but it does effectively remove blackheads and whiteheads. Next is another cleansing product, Round the Round Green Tea Moisture Cleansing Foam. The cleansing foam that has won five consecutive years in the clean beauty category. First, I like that it's a massive in 200 ml. A very good value, mildly acidic cleansing foam with a pH level of around 6. I thought this cleansing foam would especially suit to combination oily and acne prone skin types as its main ingredient is green tea. A powerful antibacterial ingredient to unclog the pores and treat acne. This is a clear gel type cleansing foam that feels gentle on the skin with a mild acidic pH level of 5.5 to 6.5. It's formulated with 10% green tea water and 0.1% green tea extract that will help to unclog pores and treat acne by fighting bacteria that cause breakouts. It contains more skin soothing ingredients like ceramide and niacinamide. This feels gentle on the skin while effectively removing the heavy makeup, dirt and impurities. With a subtle smell of soap, it feels refreshing and hydrating after washing. Did this deserve the award? Yes, I think so. It's a refreshing cleansing foam that's not phenomenal or dramatic, but it is a gentle and soothing cleansing foam that will be suitable for any skin types. 
oily combination and acne prone skin types will like this as it's very soothing and calming on the skin and it's very hydrating so dry skin types will like it for that reason. From Ha Hair App, this currently has an average score of 4.15. People seem to like it for its hydration and has no skin irritation, it's gentle and calming on the skin. I particularly enjoy using this in my morning routine. It is very mild and it has a refreshing smell and feel to it, leaving my skin hydrated. Next, Voodoo Green Tangerine Vita C Dark Spot Care Serum. Winner of five consecutive years in the serum category. A very popular vitamin C serum sold over six million bottles worldwide. I did feature this previously in my vitamin C video as a great option for the vitamin C beginners as this contains vitamin C derivatives from green tangerine extract instead of pure vitamin C. Along with this, this contains niacinamide, which is another powerful ingredient for skin brightening. This is a lightweight gel-like texture with a subtle smell of tangerine. It contains 70% vitamin C from green tangerine extract and 4% niacinamide. Both are great ingredients for anti-aging, skin brightening and fading away dark spots and melasma. This serum also has abusin for extra skin brightening and panthenol that will help to strengthen your skin barrier and soothe and reduce redness. Did this deserve the award? Yes, I think so. I think this is a good vitamin C serum with a high percentage of vitamin C derivatives that will help to brighten up your skin tone. The brand claims that this will remove your dark spots in two weeks time. That is a bit overstated, yeah, to be honest. But I still think this is a good vitamin C serum for the beginners and for those who want to add vitamin C serum into the night routine along with retinol as this contains vitamin C derivatives instead of pure vitamin C. I did explain more about this in my previous vitamin C videos which you can go and check out after watching this video if you like. In Wahe Hair, this has received an average score of 4.26 and people seem to like this for its quick absorption smell and hydrating texture but there is a review that also says that this didn't do anything to their hyperpigmentation i think this worked well to even out and brighten my skin tone the only downside i can think of with this is that when my skin was a bit sensitive this did sting my skin a bit so those with sensitive skin types just be aware now moving to a winning moisturizer, Dr. G R.E.D. Blemish Clear Soothing Cream. A multi old winning cream that is soothing and moisturizing on the skin with a non comedogenic formula designed to soothe to oily and acne prone skin types. I did feature this previously in my best of 2023 video as well as the best moisturizers for winter video as well. A deeply moisturizing cream with the main ingredient five types of Sika, which makes this cream very soothing and nourishing on the skin. This cream has a gel-like texture that absorbs quickly into the skin with a slight cooling sensation. This cream is infused with moisture soothing ingredients, five types of Sika and other plant-derived ingredients like beta-glucan and kisakin, which are powerful ingredients for providing skin moisture and controlling sebum secretion. It has a citrus-like scent which isn't overpowering and will leave your skin deeply moisturized, dewy and supple. Did this cream deserve the award? Yes, 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 absolutely! A deeply moisturizing cream that's designed to suit all skin types. The brand claims that its non comedogenic formula will suit to oily and acne prone skin types but as this is so moisturizing, my dry skin absolutely loves this. Oily skin types need to stay moisturized as well, otherwise your skin will produce even more oil according to skincare experts. So this, in my opinion, suits to all skin types. In Pi Hair App, this is received on every score of 4.36. People seem to like this for its lightweight formula, its skin soothing, non-sticky, non-greasy, refreshing, and doesn't cause skin breakouts and its skin cooling. Even though this cream does have a cooling sensation, I'd like to use this in winter time as well as it's so moisturizing. My dry skin will be so lost without this. Let's now move on to a sunscreen winner. Dr. G Green Mild Up Sunscreen SP50 Plus PA4 Pluses. Another winning product from Dr. G. 
This is a mineral sunscreen. I have featured another mineral sunscreen from Torden in my previous vegan skincare video. This is my second mineral sunscreen review. Later this year, I am planning to dig deep into mineral sunscreen, so make sure you stay tuned by subscribing to this channel to not miss out on my Korean mineral sunscreens review video. Before I go on about this sunscreen, let me bring back the clip in which I explained about the difference between chemical and mineral sunscreens. This is a mineral sunscreen known as Skin Reflectors as it sits on top of your skin like a shield that bounces off the UV rays. Unlike the chemical sunscreen that absorbs into your skin, inactivating UV rays through a chemical reaction. As the mineral sunscreen sits on top of your skin rather than getting absorbed into your skin, it's more suitable for acne prone or sensitive skin types. But the reason why I haven't tried mineral sunscreen so much is because it doesn't absorb into your skin, it just sits there, it leaves loads of white cast. Yeah, it's commonly known for that downside. So yes, mineral sunscreens are better for trouble skin types, but it does tend to leave a white cast. But recently I discovered that Korean sunscreens have evolved a lot and there are mineral sunscreens that doesn't leave any white cast. So how about this one? I'll be showing you that soon. The key ingredients in the sunscreen are Centella Asiatica and hard leaf extracts, which are star ingredients to soothe and calm the skin. This also contains plenty of good mineral UV filters, as you can see here, for your sun protection. This is a mineral sunscreen with a non-sticky matte finish. It contains pycnogenol extracted from pine trees and filmaxil to protect the skin barrier from external aggressors. This also contains multiple skin soothing and hydrating ingredients like panthenol, centella asiatica, and heart leaf extracts. It also has sodium hyaluronate, which is a salt form of hyaluronic acid in a smaller molecular size, so it will penetrate well into the skin for more effective hydration. So does this leave a white cast? As you might have noticed, it left a bit of white cast as soon as I applied it on, but after a short while, this disappeared, leaving no white cast. Did this deserve the award? Mm, from a dry skin perspective, not really. This is a matte finish and on my dry skin, it felt a bit dehydrating, so I wouldn't be repurchasing this. But I think oily and acne prone skin types would like this as it has a matte finish and it's a mineral sunscreen, meaning that it just sits on top of your skin rather than getting absorbed, a much better option for sensitive or troubled skin types. I just feel that to win an award, a product must be suitable for most skin types in my opinion. And this one for dry skin, I'm not sure. In Wahae, this currently has an average score of 4.21. People seem to like it, that it's gentle, it doesn't cause any skin troubles, non-greasy or sticky, and has no eye irritation. The overall cons were, that it has a bit of a white cast and it's dry and it's matte. I'm sure all those reviews probably came from dry skin types like me. But this has many pros as well, that it's gentle and it contains many skin soothing ingredients, making it suitable for troubled, acne prone and sensitive skin types. If you're interested in shopping for any of the products I mentioned in today's video, all the shopping links will be down in the information section below, so go and check them out. And don't forget to shop at Starvana using the discount code I have for you below. The place selling a diverse range of Korean beauty products at the most affordable prices. Enjoy the extra discount using the discount code below. And please leave a comment which products have interested you, which products have you tried. I'd love to hear from you all. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next Korean beauty video. Annyeong!